Hi guys, um, I thought I would do an updated sort of everyday kind of look. I did one, I think one of my first videos or like second or third video or something like that, but it's become a bit more sophisticated. Well, not really. Um, I have tweaked it because um, I kind of watch more videos now, so I've started using contouring and random jazz like that just to sort of, I don't know, improve my skincare. And I even get up 10 minutes earlier every morning now just to do my makeup because I kind of really enjoy doing it now. So um, I've already done my base because. Um, I've uploaded another video, so this is my foundation base, so where I start next is I kind of get my eyebrows done first, um, and I've got the a la carte cosmetics brow ink that everyone sort of goes on about, I think it was in the Carmine box, um, I really really like this, the problem is, is I've already had it, what like three weeks or four weeks, something like that, and I find it's running out already, so you have to sort of, I think, you know, get it out, so I just do my eyebrows. Right, so that's my eyebrows done. I feel like if I get them done first, then I can base my makeup around it because I can't do them last. No idea why. Alright, so um, do I do my eyes first? Yeah. Right, so I do my eyes first. I always put on a like nude kind of colour, and this is a. I'm quite impressed that I've hit pan on this one. I've had it for about four years. It's just a number seven um, eyeshadow in gold dust. I just think it makes a perfect base. So. I just get like one of these big brushes and I pop that all just all over. It's not sort of gold enough to sort of look too dark. Yes, yeah, so that's like a really nice base. It doesn't look too sort of. It's not obvious. Then I've started using. I always use the same kind of colours, but this is just sort of a new one. But generally, I use the same kind. This is uh, bling tones. Um, bling tone spicy eyeshadow from my face cosmetics it's really nice because it's very subtle um, shimmer in it not shimmer it's more like um, sparkles in it it's kind of matte and then you get the odd sparkle rather than the whole thing being shimmer so I'm using my Sigma E45 brush which is one of those tapered brushes it's really really nice for getting into the crease so just pop some on there excuse the mirror I used to like do the whole lot dark or like the whole right like the whole outer side dark but I've started like leaving it light here and just going for the crease because I'm finding it's making my eyes look a lot bigger because I'm quite hooded. I'm not hooded, my eyes are. So there it is. It looks kind of dramatic on here but on here it looks fine <laughs> and what I really like about, the, I don't know if it's this shade of brown because um, I use browns all the time but this really makes my eyes look green my eyes are green, they're like grey, blue, green, depending on what eyeshadow I use I can make them look really blue or really green alright next up is, I don't curl my lashes every day oh that's more of a, because this is like a everyday I do that on a, like a night out so not an everyday thing um, so next up is eyeliner I've been using Cream Island from e.l.f. but I need to wash my brushes so I rotate them around anyway so I'm using Rimmel's Glow Eyes Professional Liquid Eyeliner. I really really like this. Um, I used to think it was the bee's knees and then I started reading other people's reviews and on other stuff and I'm thinking actually no this doesn't last all day. It lasts till about 3 in the afternoon I'd say. So I like to do a nice flick. And I don't go all the way to the inner corner. I, my eyeliner starts from where my pupil starts. Um, I, I don't know where I read it from. I think it's... Oh, I don't know. I read it somewhere that that's a good place to start. So then I find it makes my eyes look a bit bigger than when I, go, pardon me, when I go all the way in. So there we go, that's my eyes. I don't tend to put any underneath because I find it really shots, makes my eyes look small and just shots them off. I do on a night out but not every day. Right, so next up is mascara. This is the Falsify False Lash Effect Mascara from Seventeen. This is the first time I'm using this one so I can't tell you what I think so I'll give you my first impressions now. So it's kind of a big brush. 
I've seen bigger. <laughs> I don't like them too big, so this is about fine. Quite a nice mascara actually. I don't know if you can see. Oh god no, you can't see but it is a nice mascara. And though I don't use eyeliner underneath I tend to go underneath with this just a little bit. Just lightly to make them look natural. Yes, yeah, so that's one eye, just do the other. Right, so that is my eyes done. And to be honest, I used to just go out like this and that'd be it be done, but now I kind of like putting my makeup on a bit more. So next up is, oh by the way if you can hear scraping, it's my tortoise trying to escape his tank. It's not a tank, it's like a tailless table. Right, so next up is the Bourjois, what's it called? Bronzing powder. It's the one that looks like chocolate. It smells like chocolate. Right, so I get a really thin brush and I just sort of sweep it across there. And I do my contouring. Let's look in the mirror for this. I love doing this because it really makes my face look a lot slimmer. It looks really dark there, it looks like I've got sideburns, but it's the camera. And go, make sure you go straight up into your hairline. You can blend it out. Right, so that's my contouring done. I'm hoping this looks normal when it's on my computer, but that, they look like sideburns, but they don't in real life, so I'm going to keep with that. Um, next up is blush. Um, this is from the Blink and Go little compact that we got in the December glossy box, I think it is. There's like two pinks in there, and I absolutely love the peach. Well, I love both of them. They're so pigmented, so teeny amount. That looks lovely, but it's teeny amount. on my cheeks. I don't like blusher too much sometimes because if when I go out I mean because when I drink I go red. I don't know if it's it must be rosacea or something because I, probably because I've got sensitive skin but my boyfriend goes red all down his neck but when I drink a pint of cider I'm like that like all the way up here all the way down there all, and then all the way back up there is red and then I get this red patch there. <laughs> um, so at night time I try not to stick it on because I just go red raw so I don't need it. Right, so that is my blusher. Hopefully I'm not going to look like a clown. That looks really red, but that's because my face is starting to get really hot and I think it's my eczema. Right, and last step, second to last step, um, is highlighter. Um, I know sometimes I can't be bothered with cream because I find it's just, I, can't, I hate getting stuff on my hands sometimes, which is why I don't use cream blushes as much. Um, so the next up is a highlighter. I don't know if you can be able to see it because it's so obviously bright as a highlighter. It's the number seven one. Sorry, that's mirrored top and I just get a fan brush and I just sort of like just to, just a little bit there I don't think it makes too much difference but it's just nice to get a bit of highlight and I just run a bit down my nose it's nice to have a powdered highlighter because uh, on nights out like I, I use like high beam and stuff get really nice cream highlighters but this is just nice to slap on in the morning and then last step is lipstick I never ever used to use lipstick at all but it's like my, I started in October say it's like my new makeup resolution, not new year's resolution because I just from October thought right I need to start wearing lipstick so this is Elf's Gypsy, um, I've got a few others that I like now but this is really nice as like a, a day to day one because it's, it's bright but not overly bright for day. I say that and I've just realised it's really bright for day. But because I kind of stick to nude anyway, eyeshadows, um, I can get away with it. But I really, really love e.l.f. lipsticks. I've been using, I tried some 17 out and all that. Love them, but I um, hadn't used e.l.f. for about a week, then put my e.l.f. back on and then realised the staying power is really great on those. So that is my finished look. Um, if you've got any foundation routine videos, let me have a look. Because 
it's the one video that I think I started watching because once you've got your base right, I don't think you can go that well, you can, you can go really wrong, but I think once you've got your base right, you're sort of alright. Sorry, I just keep playing with my hair because I've. It's really nice today. So, um, I hope you enjoyed, hope it wasn't too boring. I need to start thinking of other videos to film because the sun is out today, so I just thought I'd film a bunch of videos. So, I hope you enjoyed. Neighbours walking by. Right, bye, thanks.